Legends, what's going on? Hope everybody is okay. I'm still struggling with my throat, but I'm gonna try and get this three minute video in very, very quickly, um, as fast as I can, so that I am not starting to cough on, um, on the video. But, four things we need to go through today. First one is the dip has happened exactly as predicted. I'll try not to be like MM Crypto, but I can't help it, it's so freaking cool, isn't it? How cool is MM Crypto right now? Anyway. It's happened. Looks like we're nearing the bottom. I've just seen a doji candle emerging. Could be the start of a second dip down. But look, we knew it was coming. So if you decided to hold for the dip, fine. Those of you that are accumulating, congratulations. Because I do see a reversal happening. Because the volume looks right now. Um, always be aware that when you get that low volume, high price, that it does turn out to, to be extremely bearish. Um, I freaking love the hollow tube. It's ace, isn't it? <laughs> Secondly, XRP, 28th of September. I'm a huge XRP lover. I just, I just love it. Um, something magical might happen on the 28th of September. So those of you that are holding XRP, <clears throat> might not happen. Not financial advice, but we could see an incredible movement to the upside on the 28th of September. So something to keep an eye on. Um, I'll explain it more in detail as to what's going on, but I try and keep this video short. <laughs> Also, back in relation to XRP, we um, need to talk to something back in 1988. Let's see if I can, um, where are we going? Here. So, this is The Economist, which was printed in January of 1988, and it shows a phoenix rising from the ashes. To the untrained eye, it looks like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Remember the date, set in 1988. Look at the date on the coin, it says 2018. The real start of adoption in cryptocurrency. A lot of people were getting interested in cryptocurrency in 2018. And um, cryptocurrency obviously is here to stay. Now, this has a connection with David Schwartz. David Schwartz being the CTO of Ripple. So, it says Phoenix on the um, on the side of the coin. It also says 10. Now, could that mean something is going to 10? If you get Phoenix and spin it round so that the start of Phoenix, the first letter is X, the last letter is P, cryptocurrency is causing a ripple in the ground right now, XRP. So could that potentially mean something to do with XRP? In the center of the coin, you all know that symbol. If you don't, that symbol is Stellar Lumens. There is also a chain around the Phoenix's neck, which could potentially uh, indicate blockchain by some stretch of the imagination and the coin. Clearly, the biggest coin going right now is Bitcoin. And then right at the bottom there, it looks like a series of notes, not particularly looks all American. It could be world currency burning to the ground and rising from the ashes is cryptocurrency. <coughs> You've got to note that this was created in 1988. So it's freaking huge, isn't it? Cryptocurrency is definitely here to stay and we can we can mention that with the fourth thing, which is Google Junk Bonds Coinbase. You will notice on there that they have increased their offering from 1.5 billion to $2 billion, I believe now, with Coinbase, which means that more and more people are becoming interested in junk bonds. Junk bonds are basically bonds that companies don't have the right credit rating to set up bonds, so the interest rate is a lot higher, meaning that the risk of, of, of having these five to 10 year bonds is also a lot higher, but the reward, risk to reward is a lot more. We all know that in terms of cryptocurrency. What's really interesting is that Coinbase are in uh, increasing their offering of junk bonds, and who is interested in it? The, uh, the debt market is becoming more and more interested in yes junk bonds but also coinbase's junk bonds meaning that this is massive and i mean massive for cryptocurrency there is certainly a shift in the market of a more cryptocurrency 
based interest, meaning that cryptocurrencies are here to stay. When we say that this is a long hodl, this is what I mean. It is a life changing hodl, in my opinion, not financial advice. Do your own research. This is the research that I'm finding for you, sending it out to you. And you've got to take note of this kind of information. It's up to you how you deal with it and how you uh, regurgitate it in your own life. But I'm here to stay. The Holotube is here to stay. My investment portfolio in cryptocurrency is definitely here to stay. So um, that's your quick whistle stop tour. We're experiencing the dump. XRP 28th of September. The Phoenix back in 1988. Google it, it's there. Type in Phoenix currency, something like that, and you'll find it quite easy. And then also the last thing is that Coinbase are increasing their offering of junk bonds and the debt market is becoming more and more interested in the cryptocurrency companies. So uh, team, that uh, brings you your news for today. Hopefully I'm going to be better for tomorrow night to go live. We have so much to go through, but uh, this is about all I can deal with before I start coughing again. You are absolute legends. Love you all. Speak to you all later. See you in the live chat. Take care and peace.